Lascaux Cave Paintings Reviewed, a rhetorical analysis of the essay written by John Green in the Anthropocene Reviewed. Let's begin this by introducing the context of this chapter. Green dives into the history of the Lascaux Cave Paintings, the preservation, and the meaning and perception of them between people and time. These wall paintings are located in the Lascaux Cave located in France, which, which dates back up to 15,000 BCE. The overall theme of this essay is the relationship between art, its viewers, and its meaning throughout time as well as to the people. Green's purpose is to show the relationship people have had throughout time with simple artwork. The audience includes people who are curious about the historical context and the contemporary status of the Lascaux Cave paintings. The speaker is John Green, who is a father as well as enjoyer of the arts. The situation is Lascaux Cave paintings discovery in 1940 versus how it is doing right now. In order to understand this essay, it's important to note the structure of the text. He introduces a topic through a personal anecdote, uses historical anecdotes, and commentary to show the relationship between art, time, people, and meaning. In paragraphs 1 and 2, Green uses mostly anecdotes to appeal to pathos. In the first two paragraphs, Green shares a personal anecdote about his children's first experience with art, hand, with art, which are hand stencils. This creates an emotional appeal because even though this experience is about his children, it relates to many people, creating a common shared experience, allowing for more people to want to follow and read the rest of the passage. This also develops the idea between the relationship of people and art, even at a young age. Paragraphs 3-9 to nine provides the history behind the paintings. Green uses historical anecdotes and imagery in this section. Green goes back in time to tell a story of the group of boys who discovered the paintings. This establishes the relationship that the boys had to the paintings, which gets mentioned later on. He also uses imagery to describe the painting as detailed, vivid with red, yellow, and black, as well as many different animals that were depicted. This combination of historical anecdotes and imagery create the sense of reliving the discovery of the cave. This effects makes the audience feel in the moment, which executes the overall theme and creates a sense of relationship between the audience and the art as well. Paragraphs 10 through 11 focuses on the use of rhetorical question. Green uses rhetorical questions asking many questions about the cave paintings that don't have answers. This creates a sense of mystery and unknown surrounding the paintings and what their purpose was. At the same time, this creates the effect that there is more room for interpretation for modern people to analyze the meaning and relationship that ancient peoples had with the paintings. The final chunk of the essay mostly appeals to time, juxtaposing between contemporary and ancient times and using sentence structure to help explain the cave's meaning to green. Green presents juxtaposing ideas of ancient and modern people having similar hands but different lives, yet describing them just as human. This creates the effect to the audience that a long time has passed, allowing for Green to share that he thinks one vital part of human life has been unchanged, the making of art. This goes back to the idea and the relationship between art and time. Although the human experience has changed so much over thousands of years, our relationship with art remains vastly similar, as both contemporary and Asian art can represent light visually. In the final paragraphs, Green uses juxtaposition and analogies in reference to time once again. He juxtaposes the idea of contemporary and ancient to highlight the relationship between how modern humans have interacted with ancient art. Although Green has a positive outlook between humans and their relationship with are over thousands of years, the relationship has now changed because of changed circumstances. As humans, our relationship with the cave paintings have shifted so we can preserve them. This ties into his sentence toward the end of the chapter in reference to the cave now. This creates the effect of there was there but it wasn't it's not there. Through the presenting of an idea but quickly but then refuting it with words I cannot and not, creating an effect like there but is it really there? Essentially, he means that although the cave is an important part of history, the drawings can only represent a shadow of what the cave truly meant to prehistoric people. The use of juxtaposition and analogies together create, connect the idea between the shift of the relationship with the art to the preservation and creation of fake caves that we can see but never fully understand the meaning.
John Green gave the Lascaux cave paintings a 4.5 out of 5 on the scale for the Anthropocene experience. I think this is because these paintings span back thousands of years, yet elements of the art are still present during modern times in the form of hand stencil art, showing the pervasiveness of elementary artwork throughout time. This is a clear, universal experience, a well-deserved 4.5. Lastly, my final thoughts about the Lascaux cave paintings chapter. John Green is effective in portraying a theme through the use of anecdotes, appeals, and juxtaposition that effectively represent the relationship of people and art over time. Thank you.